Hello, in today's topic, we're going to see some of the different components in VPC which we haven't covered till now. Today, we're going to talk about virtual private gateway, customer gateway, and we'll be talking about VPN connections and direct connect. Before we go any further, let us reiterate on what we have learned so far. Assume you have a AWS and you create a VPC within a region. Now, within a VPC, you have two different subnets. Uh, you call one as a public subnet, another as a private subnet, and you create each one of these in a different availability zones. So by now, you must have known that why we need a private subnet and a public subnet. We create private subnet to host our database and a public subnet to have our web servers or web application running. Now we also spoken about the role of Internet Gateway, NAT devices, how Internet Gateway enables your application deployed in public subnet to connect over the internet and how developers can access your web server through internet if it is deployed in public subnet. We have spoken about the role of uh, elastic IP addresses and we also spoke how if your database has to download any patches over the internet, uh, how it connects to the net internet through the NAT devices and the role of NAT instances and NAT gateways. So assume you have a, a d database which is uh, hosted in your private subnet and you need to connect to your database which is running in your private subnet. Right, so the one way is you need to log into your EC2 instance which is deployed in public subnet and then via that instance you can connect to your database instance. So that is one way or another way is you become part of the actual network. So we'll see that later, just park that, park that thought in your mind. So we'll go further. So we have a router, through router it routes the request from your NAT devices or your EC2 instance or your database. So any network traffic is routed via a router. And we have also discussed how the router sends the traffic through a route table. So now let's imagine you have a office uh, network or a data center, your office data center, and you want to connect your office data center to your VPC. Now. Say for example, you have a database and you want to connect your database which is in your VPC hosted in your private subnet. So one way is through a VPN connection. So what happens is that through a VPN connection, you establish a direct connect with your VPC and your data center and your VPC together acts like a single network. So instead of uh, uh, connecting to a EC2 instance which is hosted in a public subnet and through that EC2 instance you talk to your database you establish a VPN connection through your VPC and your office data center and both your VPC and your office data center together behaves like a single network so if you have to access your database instance which is hosted in a private subnet you can directly connect to the database through a private IP address and you don't need to a jump box or you don't need a you don't need an EC2 instance uh, which is in a public subnet to log into your database. Uh, so through this VPN connection, your office data center and your VPC acts together like a single co-joint network. It doesn't um, behave like a two different network. Now. So how do, you, how do you make this possible? So for this, you have something called virtual private gateway in your VPC, which is a lock icon which you see here. And then you have a customer gateway in your office data center. Now, a virtual private gateway or uh, basically uh, nothing but a VPN connectors on the AWS side of the connection and the customer gateway represents a physical device or it could be a software application on the customer side of your VPN connection, which is the blue color icon which you see here, right? So these two uh, components are required to establish a connection between your VPC and your uh, office data center. And to establish a connection, the last thing you need to do is create a VPN tunnel. So for that VPN tunnel to establish, the VPN tunnel is established after traffic is generated from your customer side of your VPN connection, right? So there are two types of uh, routing which take place. So one is a static routing and dynamic routing. We won't be going too much in depth about all these, but you just need to understand what all the components uh, requires to establish a connection between your data center and your VPC. 
Now, some of the important things you need to remember is the virtual private gateway will establish on the VPC side and one virtual private gateway can connect to any number of customer gateways. So in this example, you can see one customer gateway which is linked to a data center, but in reality, there could be n number of data centers, right? So you, th there could be like 10, 20 or any number of data centers which is connected to your AWS or VPC. So ideally, there'll be just one virtual private gateway on the VPC side, which was connected to n number of customer gateways, or it connects to n number of data centers. So it's like you can imagine this as a, a one to many connection. And VPN connection consists of two tunnels for higher availability to the VPC. So this is about VPN connection. And uh, we have seen how the customer gateway and the virtual private gateway enables to open a direct a connection between your customer data center and your AWS VPC. So there is also other way, which is called Direct Connect. So a VPN is a service that helps to connect your VPC to your data center through internet protocol security. Another way is through Direct Connect. So Direct Connect is a dedicated network connection from your on-premise to AWS without using any internet. So it's like a private network. It's a virtual private network. So basically you use Direct Connect when there is an increased bandwidth of, uh, um, when there's a requirement of a higher uh, bandwidth. So that's why you use a Direct Connect through which you know, there's a dedicated fiber optic cable is used to connect to your Direct Connect location. Or otherwise, if there is no such requirement, you can go with a normal VPN connection. So this is about, um, the private virtual private gateways and customer gateway and i hope you like this video if you like please like comment and share and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you so much